What's going on everybody? We're here at Cinema and that's exactly what it means. Cancer, alright? What I'm wearing, Nunu. We're gonna tell you a story through the t-shirts that we're wearing tonight. Alright? Come follow me. Let's go. Let's get this. What's going on? Um, so we're downstairs and we're like meeting a whole bunch of cool people and it's such a, an amazing vibe right now. The energy is so amazing and um, it, it's kind of because of the person that's standing next to me. You want to tell people who you are? My name is Julie Greenbaum. I'm the co-founder of F Cancer and WikiWik. And WikiWik stands for it's not what you know, it's who you know. And the goal of tonight is to bring people out, bring people together and have a good time. So let's talk about your salad. Well, what I'm wearing is a is an app that's shared. It's, it's people at being able to tell their style story and share it with fashion lovers around the world. Let's talk about your style. All right, you have five minutes to get your what's your what's your go-to piece? Yeah. All right. I'm always for me less is more. I like being simple, so I just do I guess jeans and a white tee. Keep it clean. Keep it crisp. I get to have a lot of fun sometimes, and I get to have fun with some of the most funniest people that I've ever met in my life. And um, one of those people is, is standing right next to me. Um, you want to tell people who, who this is? I go by the name of Mr. Cardinal Opechal, a.k.a. Mr. International, a.k.a. Johnny Tall Breeze, a.k.a. Fuck Cancer with a very big knife. I mean, this is um, from my clothing line, Live and Direct, so I always feel that purple, you know what I'm saying, is just the color of royalty. Right. So it's not just anybody that can wear purple, but um, really and truly, like, I just I just put it on, you know, because this, this is how I felt tonight. And at the end of the day, um, I just want whatever I can do to help, you know, bring an end to cancer. Like, so we don't have to wear these shirts anymore, that's going to be better for me. You know what I'm saying? So people don't have to feel that loss so people don't have to feel that pain and that tragedy with dealing with the disease and all that it does to everybody in our society like the closer we can get to a cure the better you are wearing the orange one today and not only are you wearing the orange you're wearing the orange sunglasses I accessorize and everybody look at that he's wearing the orange <laughs> kicks right these are called the Tangerine Dreams and the movie Boomerang in 1992 by the Hudlin brothers starring Eddie Murphy uh, John Witherspoon, excuse me one second, John Witherspoon had the very famous scene when he came to the dinner with the mushroom belt and the inside of the mushroom pattern, he had to coordinate. Tonight, I'm coordinating. It's the orange and the orange font and the tangerine dreams, which got stepped on. They got stepped on. So, I might need to retire these. I'm going to try to clean them. If it doesn't work, I'm going to have to retire them. with somebody them. really, really cool. Um, you want to introduce yourself, man? Hey, what's going on? It's your man, Ivan Big Ives, a.k.a. Big Ives, evidently representing Universal Music Canada. What's good? Needleworks Entertainment. What's up? Well, to be honest with you, I'm pretty, like, uh, a very, when it comes to fashion, I mean, I'm not, like, in terms of my personal preference, I usually like to try to keep it really just clean, you know, pretty neutral colors. Some may call that boring, but you know what? I like, to, you know, just like, the, either whether it's, like, the fresh white tee and then just the tight jeans. And, I don't know, kind of matches right now, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? So... No, but uh, yeah, I chose the white one because just honestly, really and truly, I think uh, any shirt that actually went on tonight was actually a, a good choice for anybody. But I kind of chose it just to kind of keep the match going on in terms of the shoes, you know what I mean? So, but yeah, that's pretty well much it. All right, you guys got five minutes. What's your go-to piece? Now, is your go-to piece the same? Because sometimes I see you guys, you guys are wearing the same thing, right? But today you're not. That's pretty cool. Like, I can tell the both of you apart, kind of, sort of. Right? Sometimes the go-to piece will be probably the gold frames with no lenses in them. Or as, you know, what I'm wearing right now, you got the frames with, you know, that's clear. You feel me? But most definitely, you know, we're trying to get that Adidas fucking deal right now. So you, you got the Jeremy Scotts right there on my motherfucking feet. So that's, that's the go-to piece. Shout out to Jeremy Scott. I see you wearing the LA Kings hat. You, are you a Kings fan? Like, you can't be doing that in Toronto. Like... I think he just wore it because the hat looked good. Okay, so it's like that. It just looked good. That's all. I like that. I like because the money can make you do a lot of things. Who am I? Who am I here with? Uh, Christy Noonan. I'm the publicist for this event. I'm the one of the publicists for this event. Now, is pink is pink your go-to color? Aside from wearing it tonight, 
Uh, not really, no. I'm like, I'm actually like a color blocker from the way back. I love to color block with any type of color, from blues, like different types of turquoises, to pinks, to purples, to yellows. I have like this crazy yellow pant that I wear all the time that's like a jean. So I'm a big, I'm a big color blocker fan. So I like color in general. <laughs> I am, I am, because I'm in PR, I'm like the perfect for like, the person for the perfect black cocktail dress. Always that. Or a dress, always go to dress. If it's either in a color or whatever, if it's summer, always a go-to. Dress, dress, dress. Short dress, not long. Short dress, show some leg. You know, that's that's my go-to. Why not? Tell people who you are. Uh, Corey Lee. How are you doing? I'm awesome. We're here celebrating an awesome cause. Awesome people. It's packed up there. It's a dance party. Yeah. You gotta come. I'm uh, having a drink. I'm, well, I won't show who it is, but yeah, having a drink. We're sharing a drink. Come on, go for it. I, I can't. I'm not gonna drink. My mom. My mom watches this. Uh, I don't drink alcohol. My mom watches this. Sure. I do. What is it about your style that is a reflection of Corey Lee? Well, randomly that you say that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I actually, my uh, third album just came out last week. It's called Hot Pink Heart. So that's another reason why I went with pink. So my dog actually just passed away from lymphoma, which is green. So I was actually teetering. I'm like, ooh, do I do pink? Do I do green? I think the pink looks great on you. I'm a girly girl, so I went pink all the way today. All right, so you have five minutes. You got to get ready. What's your go-to piece? Clothing? Yes. Ooh, see, I'm a clothes whore. I have, honestly, 100 pairs of shoes. You got to rock a nice pair of shoes, ladies. I'm not wearing awesome shoes today. Don't, 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 don't. <laughs> don't do it. Uh, Jeffrey Campbell shoes, a must. An awesome blazer and some jeans, and you're good. Five minutes. Blazer, tank top or t-shirt, jeans, awesome heels, done. Uh, we got somebody that has her own particular swag to what's going on. Who, who am I here with? Oh, Taylor K. And you guys, if you guys have met Julie, right? Oh, did an interview. Did They're all, he's I, awesome. I, Julie's amazing. Yeah. Julie's amazing. I keep, I keep bringing Julie in. I like, I like bringing Julie in because she's part of this. Okay, no, okay. I'll let you go. I'll let you go. You do your thing. Show them the shirt, though. Okay, my bedazzly shirt. So Taylor K. Kiss 92.5. And you did something like really special with your T-shirt. Can you talk about the story behind it? I do not have a bedazzling gun at home. I just want people to know that. But when uh, Julie and the team asked me to be a part of uh, F Cancer and with Kiss 92.5, totally wanted to be a part of it. Um, everyone's got a story. But I wanted to stand out, of course, because I knew I was going to be on stage. Everyone wears a T-shirt, the same T-shirt. So I thought, why not bedazzle it? I do like shiny things. However, I probably, when I just started doing the F, it was a lot of work. This is seven hours of work. I should have hired someone. Next time, I will hire someone. I was going to ask, you got interns at I, Kiss 92. I, I did it myself. I was taking pride. It was cathartic doing it. <laughs> but then I think at 2 in the morning, when I continued, to, I'm like, what the F am I doing? This might have not been. But now, now it looks good, right? Now that's it done. Looks, I like it. It's bedazzled. It, 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 it is heavy. It is heavy. Now, if you have five minutes to get ready, what's your go-to piece? Is it royal blue? Is it not? What is it? It's black. But if you come into my closet, my whole closet's black, except for a couple of royal blue pieces and some signature red pieces for TV because you need color. Yeah. But it's black, black tights, long black shirt with some jewelry. I always have some bling. I, I think with fashion, especially right now, um, take it a little bit more serious especially when you start creating your own clothes so it really it really depends on how I feel that day you know what I'm saying like if I want to be you know have a clean look you know what I mean or if I want my street look or if I'm trying to do you know what I mean trying to be on my couture shit it really depends on you know what I'm saying how I feel but I think for the most part the stingy brim hat is probably my go-to piece all the time so what is it about your designs in your new line that's coming out um, that represents you how is it that it tells Cardi's story um, a good friend of mine, uh, his name is Nana Boateng, he designs, you know, stuff for a lot of people, for Terry Crews, for Stallone, for Beckham, uh, just for, so, for Forrest Whitaker, so many different people. And what he tries to do is he just tries to see what your personality is all about, you know what I'm saying? And he tries to uh, paint a fashion picture for whatever you're thinking. So basically for the first time, like any fly thing that I ever wanted to create, he brings it to life, you know what I'm saying? Like, I describe it to him, he goes overseas, and when it comes back, it's, it's crazy.
Ooh, we had an amazing night. It's just a testament that what you're wearing tells a story. And we heard a lot of stories tonight. And we didn't dwell on the lives that we lost, we celebrated them. And I think that's an amazing thing. We all got together collectively to fuck cancer. And I think that's an amazing thing. And I hope we can all one day never celebrate like this again because it won't exist anymore. It's Nunu, what I'm wearing. Fuck cancer, everybody. Peace.